my name is Grace and I'm a musician and clog dancer. Today we're going to learn some clog steps together. All you'll need to take part in this activity is this video, so make sure you can see and hear me, and some space. Make sure you're not going to knock anything over and you've got lots of room to move around. These are my clogs. You can see the bottom of the shoe is made from wood and the top is made from leather. In the past, these were the everyday footwear for people across the country. Clog dancing uses the sound made from the wood of these shoes to make different rhythms. Here's a clog step for you now. This is called a hornpipe step. We're going to learn some clog sounds together. First, let's get warmed up. This is the first activity we're going to do. We're going to march on the beat. So I'm going to start marching and you join in with me, staying in time. Well done. That's a really good way to warm up and start thinking about pulse. Pulse is really important in music. Where else do we find a pulse? Well, we have a pulse in our body. Our heartbeat is a pulse. So we find pulse in music and it's really like a ticking clock. It's really steady and it's always in time. So let's try one more time marching to the beat and feeling that pulse. We're going to march for 16 counts. Let's try together. So a steady pulse again, like our heartbeat or a ticking clock. We're going to do 16 beats again. So we need to count the beats and this time let's move our arms as well. We're gonna use lots of energy to march for our 16 beats. Ready, steady, off we go. Well done. Now it's time for our second activity. We're going to learn some clog sounds. When I showed you that clog step before, you'll have seen that I use different parts of the shoe to make different sounds. Even if you're not wearing clogs, you can still learn these sounds and we're going to try a few now. So, the first one we're gonna try is called a tap and we're gonna use the front of our foot doing this to make this sound. Let's try four in a row together. Off we go. Let's try the other foot. Off we go. Cool. So now let's try a heel. So that bit used our toe for the tap. This time we use our heel. Let's try four in a row together. Off we go. And the other foot. Off we go. Brilliant, so that's a tap and then a heel. Let's try a stamp. So for those first two, we used a different part of our foot. This time we're gonna use the whole foot to make a stamp. Four in a row. Off we go. And the other foot. Off we go. Cool. So you've got a tap, heel and a stamp. The next sound we're going to make, we've actually already done when we were marching, is called a step. And all it is, is walking from side to side. So let's try four together. Start on one foot and then swap to the other one. Off we go. Cool. So we've got tap, heel, stamp and step. 
Let's try one more. This one is called a shuffle. If you've ever done tap dancing before, you might have done this. We use the front bit of our foot to brush forwards and then backwards. So you get shuffle. And it's good to try and keep this movement quite small to make a clear sound. If you kick too much, it might be harder to control. So I'll show you another one. And again. Let's try it together. Ready, steady, off we go. And again. And again. Let's try the other foot. Ready, steady, off we go. Shuffle. And again. And again. One more. Cool. So there's five really useful sounds in clog dancing. Tap, heel, stamp, step and shuffle. Well done. All of those clog sounds can be used to make different rhythms and they all have a different sound. Let's learn a few more sounds we can use. We'll try a clap first. So we'll do four together. Ready, steady, off we go. Brilliant. Now let's try four pats. We're going to use our hand to tap our chest. Four in a row. Ready, steady, off we go. Fab. Let's try a click. Four in a row. Ready, steady, off we go. Brilliant. If you find a click a bit tricky, you can try this one. A swoosh. Let's try four in a row. Ready, steady, off we go. So we've learnt nine different sounds there. I'm going to shout each one out and you have a try as a bit of practice. Okay, ready? Tap. Heel. Stamp. Step. Shuffle. Clap. Pat. Click. And a swoosh. Got them all? Well done. So you can always re-watch this video and practice all those different sounds to get really confident with all of them. But it's time for our third and final activity and it's over to you for some creativity. I would like you to create your own four beat rhythms. So you can use any of those nine sounds we've learnt and I'm gonna give you one extra option and that is a rest. That means in the space of one sound or one beat, we have silence. And that can be a really useful thing in music to create space and make some interesting rhythms. So we're going to pick four sounds, including a rest to make a rhythm. So here are a few examples of some four beat rhythms before you write your own. I'm gonna start with one that goes tap, then heel, then clap, then another tap. So I'll dance it first and then you copy it straight away. So tap, heel, clap, tap. Off I go. How was that? Let's try another one. I'm gonna go clap, then a rest. So clap, then rest, and then I'm gonna do two stamps to make up my four beats. Clap, rest, stamp, stamp. I'll go first, then you copy straight away. How was that? Did you get the rest? I'll show one more, and then it's gonna be over to you. I'm going to go step, shuffle, step, shuffle. So I've got four sounds, step, shuffle, step, shuffle. I'll go first and you go straight away.
cool. So did you see how the shuffle had two different sounds in the space of one? We get step, shuffle, step, shuffle. So the sound shuffle fits in the space of one step. Another way to say that rhythm would be ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Cool, well done for trying my four beat rhythms, but it's over to you now. So remember you can use any of the clog sounds or the body percussion sounds to make your four beat rhythms. Pause the video and come up with your own four beats. Off you go. Have you got your four beat rhythm? Brilliant, well, well done. Thank you for watching this video and taking part in the different activities. Before we go, I'd like to give you some ideas on how you can keep up your clog dancing and your music making. So remember when we started off, we did our marching to the pulse. You can practice that either like we did, just yourself, or you can do it to some music. Maybe pick your favorite song and march along to the beat. You can also practice your own four beat rhythms and why not make up some more? then you could put them together to make a routine. So maybe have four different lots of four beats and you do one, two, three, four. So you get 16 beats all together. You could also teach someone else at home your four beat rhythms, the same as when I did mine and then you copied. You can practice that with people at home. You can practice all the clog sounds and body percussion sounds that we've learned today. And maybe you could practice them along with your favorite song as well. You could also research a little bit more about folk music and clog dancing. There's some resources and links on the worksheet to accompany this video. And once you've done that, maybe you could research some other types of dancing, some different dance styles, or maybe some different music styles as well. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned lots. Keep practicing, keep learning, and have lots of fun. Bye.